Greetings, everyone. Welcome to ENE Learning Hub. I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question one from the 2021 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Bus paper. All right, so let's begin. Part A. It says a transducer converts energy from one form to another form. Part one of A. It says, state one example of a transducer that converts electrical energy to heat energy, light energy, chemical energy, and mechanical energy. All right, so the transducer that converts electrical energy to heat energy, incandescent light bulb. So light energy, again, can use an incandescent light bulb. So chemical energy, electrolytic cell and so mechanical energy motor is used all right so these are all the different types of transducers that can be used to convert electrical energy to the different form of energies that are listed here all right so that's it for part one of e so let's move on to part two so it says sketch the electrical slash electronic symbol of any two transducers stated in part one of A. All right, so here I have the symbol for the incandescent lamp, and also I have the symbol for the motor as well. All right, so these are the two symbols. So that's it for part two of A. All right, so let's move on to part B. It says, the carbon zinc battery is a popular type of primary cell. A consumer purchases a new carbon zinc battery at a local store. The consumer discovers that the battery has no charge. Part one of B, it says, suggests two reasons why the new battery has no charge. One, the battery might not have any charge due to the fact that it was in storage for a long time. Carbon zinc battery self-discharge over time when not in use. Two, the battery might have been exposed to extreme temperature during storage. Carbon zinc batteries are sensitive to temperature. If it was exposed to extreme heat or cold, the battery would have lost its charge or get damaged. All right, so those are the two reasons why the new battery may not have any charge. All right, so that's it for part one of B. Part two of B, it says, outline two ways of preventing the carbon zinc battery from losing its charge. One, turn off devices or remove the battery from devices when not in use. Two, by practicing proper storage. Carbon zinc batteries should be stored in a cool, dry environment, normally at room temperature. All right, so that's it for part two of B. All right, let's move on to part C. So it says, with the aid of a label diagram, describe how a hydrometer is used to check the condition of a lead acid cell. All right, so here I have the diagram of the hydrometer checking the condition of a lead acid cell. So here we have the hydrometer. This part of the hydrometer is the suction bulb. This part below the suction bulb, we have the float and below the float, we have the electrolyte. All right. Now let's look at the explanation. The hydrometer is used to check the condition of the lead acid cell by squeezing the suction bulb, which is this part here. So after squeezing the suction bulb, the electrolyte will then start to fill the hydrometer. So if you look at the diagram here, you can see the electrolyte in it. Now, you will have to continue to squeeze the suction bulb until the electrolyte from the lead acid cell fill the hydrometer to the maximum level possible based on the level of the electrolyte in the hydrometer that will give an indication of the condition of the cell. 
All right, so on the hydrometer itself, you would see labeling, for example, like good, very good, or bad condition. All right, so you see labeling like those on the hydrometer. So those are some examples. All right, so that's it for this question.